three, two, one, go. All right. Welcome, folks. Um, next week, we have the SEAO Contenders Cup, which is, we've been building up to from the SVOs all year. And I am joined by none other than the man himself. I think you were the second person to win uh, one of the SVOs. Is that right? Mr. Ziff himself, sponsored by Team Dawn Breakers. Yeah, I won, like, SVO in March. It's been so long since I've seen you, man. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> man, I barely made top eight. I always go six too. <laughs> oh. But they didn't make the tiebreaker. What is it? I believe in uh in June you did pretty well. You uh made well, yeah. you got second place, right? Yeah, I got second place on June. Ah, so close, so close. <laughs> but uh Ultra Terra took that one, I believe, by the from Team Hollowed Sky. Yeah. <laughs> so then uh again. Uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, before we go into this entire interview, I just kind of want to let the folks at home know a little bit about who you know Don Breaker Jif is. You know, like um, kind of going into this uh, Contenders Cup, I feel like a lot of folks don't really know who the players are going in, and so I just kind of want to give them a background story so that you know when they watch in uh, and join the the Twitch uh, channel. Um, they know who to root for, who to root for because a this person I like what he does or b I like his style or we have the same likes and tastes in, in uh, anime music games whatever. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Ziff. Okay, uh, so my ID name is Ziff. Mm -hmm. So I start Shadow First in 2017, but just playing casually. <laughs> but only at 2019 I start playing competitive. So. And I managed to win SVO in March, and then I got scouted by Don Breaker. So I joined this team, and it uh, really see me like open me like how competitive scene works. So mm -hmm. it's very fun to see how this competitive team's thinking. And actually, after joining that, my SVO run has become more stable. So oh, really? I managed, yeah, I mean, like I'm, I'm qualified for contenders by point. So it means like I did consistently every SVO. Mm. So, and the things that I like other than shadow first, I mean, like I play shadow first every day. So <laughs> it means that I like this game. So I like to watch anime and then play anime music quiz, which is oh, my okay. So, yeah, if you want to play with me, just come to our Discord channel, then we can play it there. Oh, so, give, give a quick shout out to the Discord channel. What's the name? Uh, it's Downbreakers Esports Discord channel. Okay, perfect. So, folks out there who, uh, who want to take you down in anime music <laughs> quizzes <laughs> <laughs> or Shadowverse, you know, either or. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can just also. For shadow for tips and then and also or follow my Twitter for more information. Awesome. So then, um, that being said, you joined uh, Dawnbreakers after you won the Contenders Cup. Is that right? Uh, after I won March Cup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's not Contenders Cup. Yeah, the March Cup. Excuse me. Um, I got I got a lot of Contenders Cup on the brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, so you, I feel like you have the most wholesome story out of anybody I've talked to today, or done it with any of these interviews. Like, <laughs> it's like yeah, you know, I played for a couple of years just casually. Are you a free to play player or? Uh, I just buy for the skin. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you, like you know, you started casually, and then two years later, you know what? Let me let me give it a shot, and then you you pop in the march. Slap up everybody, <laughs> take a spot, <laughs> and then start doing consistently well. Get picked up by Dawn Breakers, and then, heck, you're again you qualify by points as well. So, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> pr proven strong, proven strong. So, I want to do a little bit of a mental, uh, a mental fast forward. Let's imagine you go to Contenders Cup next week. You just demolish I mean, everybody, right? You just destroy everyone. <laughs> And then you go mm -hmm. to the World Grand Prix, and you're like, man, how can everybody else be this bad at Shadowverse? <laughs> Destroy <laughs> everybody else at the World Grand Prix in, in Tokyo, Japan, or in Saitama, Japan. And they hand you this massive $1 million check. You've got this big old check in your hands. What do you spend the money on? Uh, I'm 
a realistic person so Ooh, it's mostly on to my <laughs> savings and investments <laughs> i don't really spend a lot of <laughs> money but the thing is like if one millions then i mean it's really enough for my saving and investment <laughs> i don't really need to get a stable job or something <laughs> i just need on my stable job yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man that's man i did not expect that answer i'm not going to lie um i heard bima bima gave me a very similar answer earlier today i think um if you want to see that check out his video but um I'm surprised at how adult the answers are I'm getting are for the one million dollars. What would you spend it on? I mean, Investments, like compared, <laughs> savings. Compared other competitive players, I'm considered as old. <laughs> like, oh really? Or other competitive players are like early twenties, like twenty two, twenty one. I mean, mm-hmm. like I'm twenty five this year, so. <laughs> Ooh. Man, you you've got the, you've got the uh, the young looking face. So that that's what that's the seller for you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so then I guess you save the money is, is there any like burning thing that you would just immediately just buy without even thinking about it? No, really. I, <laughs> <laughs> the first time I'm it's like investment <laughs> going to shares or something. <laughs> All right. Straight to the stock market. The, the first yeah. thing, the, the first thing. <laughs> I would immediately just buy shares in side games. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so then I want to shift focus to the current state of the game. Uh, we just had Verdict Conflict come out not too long ago. Uh, decks like Haven are pretty strong. Uh, Forest is pretty strong with, the, with Roach. Uh, I think Shadow is kind of building itself up after the uh, uh, the, J- the JGP that went up. That was a uh, uh, really, really good showing for Shadow. Uh, how do you feel about those decks as well as other, other classes uh, in the meta right now? I mean, yeah, I can see that Especially Haven, it's a bit too strong right now. <laughs> <laughs> then actually, like the GP ends uh, at fourteen, right? Mm-hmm. I'm actually like expecting a nerf before our contenders cup. It may happen, may not happen, but yeah, I mean, so it means that I just need to prepare more for that in case the, the nerf is coming, but. Mm. I think the state of all the decks is like those four decks on the top are really strong and yeah we need to learn about it know about know more about the decks and then practice with the decks so we can increase my chance of winning higher it makes sense um now you mentioned like the four decks kind of on top do you mind uh kind of uh, talk about what those four decks are Thing is like heaven. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, shadow, heaven, shadow, and uh, roach forest. Yeah. And one other is I think sword is strong. Really? Yeah. I saw a couple of folks rate uh sword quite highly, but I haven't seen as much of it on like ladder or anything like that. So I'm I'm interested to know why you think sword is strong. Hmm. You know, I think it's like a good matchup against the uh, all other decks, like I mean, all other top three decks. But I, I think it's still on the below level. Mm. I think the <laughs> thing on the top is heaven. Is just, <laughs> so just, spoiled. I mean, if it, so spoiled. <laughs> I mean, if you see <laughs> the Pan America Contenders Cup, like nobody. I mean, everyone brings heaven. <laughs> yeah, I, it's it's yeah, it's pretty solid at this point, I think. Uh, so okay, yeah, pretty strong. Are there any classes you would like to see do better or you would do well with? Let, let's imagine that there is a patch coming this mm-hmm. week, right before the Contenders Cup. Is there? Are there? Have there been other decks you've been looking at? Uh, I think even if the patch coming. I don't see any other class that will rise unless they will give significant buff, but I don't think so. So I mm. think I, even if Heaven is being nerfed, I think it's still strong enough to compete with the meta. So I think it's still on those top four classes. Yeah, I think with the exception of uh, the Seductress Vampire nerf that came, it feels like whenever Psych Games does nerf something, they don't just nerf it into oblivion. They just... <laughs> <laughs> they take like they take like a few things away. They pinch a couple of hairs off and like, okay, now it's 
Now it should yeah, be okay I mean, against other decks. I mean, like, after Destructive Succubus nerf, I mean, blood still on top, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, to, to, your, to your point, like, excuse me, Psy Games doesn't really have a, a history of just nerfing things into oblivion. Good or bad? Good or bad. Um, so then I guess shifting back over from the game to... Oh, sorry, before I move on, what's your favorite class? Uh... Was shadow. <laughs> now you said was shadow. Is yeah. it still shadow? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> changing to heaven. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Sell out city over here. <laughs> no, I mean, because like. <laughs> I mean, I start to like heaven when they introduce Holy Lord Ektar. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so they change from shadow to <laughs> heaven. So there goes my preference. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, as of recently, I've really, really been liking Shadow. Um, I've, I'm, I'm trying so hard to make P2P Shadow work, and I, I can see the writing <laughs> on the wall. It's just not there, but I'll keep fighting the good fight. <laughs> mm, oh, sorry, sorry, but uh, like I was said, um, moving kind of away from like the in in the game to actually the people playing the game. You know, you've, again, you're going to Contenders Cup this weekend. Uh, are there any people, whether at SEAO's Contenders Cup or Anywhere else in the world, are there any people that you would consider your rivals? Um, is there anybody that you don't want to run into or have to play against? Or is there anybody that you really do want to run into and play against? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit a tough question. I mean, like, if I'm going to contenders, I need to win all the match. Mm. So no matter how I need to win, so I need to prepare for all other things. But uh, what I excited for that is I get to me- meet my teammates from Dawnbreakers that will come to Singapore also. Yeah. So we will do a meet up there, and yeah, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So then I'm assuming you don't want to run into a uh, Dawnbreakers Bene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he's on the other side of the bracket, it'd be nice if there was a Dawnbreakers finals. <laughs> I mean, like, if I need to run into Bene, then I hope it will be in the final. Yeah, I 100% understand. Yeah, you, know, you said, uh, is anybody else from Dawnbreakers going to be there? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, some of them, like, living in Singapore. Oh, really? And then, oh, that's then nice. they, yeah. And I think someone from Malaysia come to Singapore just to watch uh, Contenders. That's cool. I uh, spoke to, uh, I believe it was uh, Glow and Beam, and they, they talked about, like, folks, like, actually having, like, viewing parties for the Contenders Cup. Uh, I think that that's super cool. I hope that there's actually one in Singapore if they can't just actually watch it live. I think that'd be really awesome. Hmm. Okay, so let's hope you don't run into Bima until it's the final round. <laughs> or excuse me, uh, excuse me, Bene. <laughs> uh, is there anybody right now that you consider as your rival? A uh, rival? Mm. Who's that person you just, every time you play them, you have to win. <laughs> I think it was Asia during group, I mean, during SPO. Like, I met Asia like three times or four times in a month. <laughs> so, Ooh. it's like, <laughs> yeah. So what? But, Asia, he, uh, I think he transferred over from the uh, the European Cup, is that right? Or from the European uh, yeah. SVO? Now, yeah, his, his situation is a little special. He would have to wake up at like 3 a.m. To, to participate in that, so they, just, they let him change regions so he could actually wake up at a normal human hour and actually play the game. Uh, I, think, I think that's fair, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I think I've given him a lot of hell on cast, and I, <laughs> I kind of feel bad because he's, he's a really strong competitor. He's really good. Yeah, yeah, it's too bad that in top eight he didn't really... <laughs> Yeah, top eight oh, is like well. the make or break moment. I feel like everyone does really well the first day, and then you get murdered top eight, <laughs> like the first round. Uh, that that's that's harsh. But uh, so our conversation has been pretty focused on like tournament competitive play. I want to talk a little bit more about kind of your interests. Uh, so if you could have, let's say I gave you this magic wand, I said, okay, Ziff, you can make any crossover as an expansion in Shadowverse you want, any crossover at all. Mm-hmm. What, what is it? It could be game, anime, real life, anything. Crossover? You mean like, uh, like collaboration event or something in Shadowverse? So let's imagine it's like a collaboration event, but the actual expansion that comes out features characters from whatever you choose. I think One Piece. <laughs> I mean, like, One Piece is like my favorite 
story ever <laughs> favorite manga it's like the best manga running right now so i really would like love to see one piece collaborate with shadow that would be super cool actually i didn't think about that because now we've got the uh, we've got the the, the uh, excuse me the uh, natura trait imagine mm-hmm. like having um amulets or spells that are just like the fruit the devil fruit ah, that yeah. would be so sick <laughs> <laughs> so who who would be like the leader of the not the leaders but I guess you could say leaders but who would be like the leaders and legendaries for for your expansion then? Uh I would like to see White Bird, <laughs> Chirohige. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's really like a strong strong <laughs> yeah. Also like all the three admirals and oh, the marine the admirals. Three. Yeah. yeah, three marine admirals. Oh, like Kizaru, original oh. three. Kizaru, Akainu, Aokiji. Hell yeah, because you're all really super cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man, that, that's a good one, actually. I haven't heard of One Piece. It's it's such a, it feels like it's an obvious answer, but it's actually, like, you can actually make that really work in Shadowverse, I feel. <laughs> Damn, okay. All right, so let's let's hope that somewhere that Side Games is listening, <laughs> and they make that happen with, uh, Sh- what is it, Shueisha, or is it Shonen Jump? Uh, Shonen Jump, is it? Yeah. Shonen Jump. Ho- hopefully someone from Shonen Jump picks it up as well, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I guess the last question I have for you, I don't want to keep you for too long, is, you know, you're going into the Contenders Cup. Again, you said you just got competitive this year. Is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. So a lot of folks pro- out there probably don't really know who Ziff is or they probably haven't heard much about you other than the, the couple of times you come to Contenders Cup. So, <laughs> excuse me, to uh, the SVOs. So going into the Contenders Cup, why should people root for you? Uh... <laughs> I know that's a hard question, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think I tried my best to play a beautiful shadow first. Hmm. I tried to best to not make any mistakes during my play. And I tried to capitalize if my opponent makes mistakes, I make sure to punish them. <laughs> Ooh, that's... I feel like that speaks a lot, actually. It feels like it's really difficult to actually punish a player or punish someone when they make a mistake in Shadowverse, especially in yeah. early turns. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, I think, like, a lot of people think that Shadowverse is, like, game of luck. Like, if you high roll, you win. If you don't, you lose. But mm-hmm. I think it's, like, more of game of mistakes. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, if it's a very high roll and super luck, then you absolutely win. But most of the games didn't go that way. Most of the mm-hmm. games are very fair. So it's just a matter of, like, when you can spot opponent making mistakes and then how you capitalize, how you capitalize on that one so that you can win. No, I 100% agree. Um I think one of the best examples I can think of is uh, I just watched the uh, the Autumn Rage League uh, Grand Finals. If you haven't seen that, please go watch the VODs on YouTube. And the last match, the finals match, is insane. And like both yeah. players get everything they need. There's no high roll or anything. It's just it's just like good skill over against good skill, and you, like you watch the punishments happen. And there's actually a bunch of situations that both players you can tell are unfamiliar with. And so navigating those is super cool. Like watching them like get there to like find victory is amazing. Yeah, I will try my best to play Shadowverse. <laughs> like that. I mean, like no mistakes, carefully <laughs> plan, uh, and hopefully I can do that. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to it, absolutely. Um, I guess to wrap things up, Ziff, uh, is there anybody you want to get a give a shout out to, or you want to say thanks to before your uh, this weekend at Contenders Cup? Yeah, I think like uh, thanks for my friends and family for supporting this, supporting me on this shadow first. Also from my team, Dawnbreakers, and for all competitive players during the contenders. Uh, see you next week, and yeah, let's have a good match. That's it. Come on, man, you got a scowl out. You're like, if I see you next week, I'm gonna throw your body in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> That that's fine. That's fine. No, I, I like it though. Keep it humble and uh, go in there and play play the best Shadowverse you can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, thank you very much again, Jif. Um, again, thanks to you folks who are watching this. And if uh, you guys see or you guys are watching the uh, SEAO uh, Contenders Cup next weekend, give uh, give some nice praise to my man Ziff here in the chat. All right. Take care, guys. Peace.